Good morning. My name is Beloved, and I am back to just share with you some thoughts that I have been having this morning. Um, in a conversation that I was having, I was contemplating how you could help someone understand that they're free. During that thought, I had a vision of a person walking along and grabbing different things, all of their experiences. If you imagine each experience like a little ball. And they're walking through. And as they perceive things to happen to them, they pick up these balls as they get in arguments, as they go through school, their experience with their family, and they just, the things that uh, offend them, affect them, all of the, the, the troubles in life, all of the heartaches and heartbreaks and all of it, the joys, the sorrows, the wins, the losses, they have all of these balls that they're holding in their hand, in their hands, uh, so much so that they need to use their chest to help balance these balls. And if you can imagine how full that person's hands are. Now, I'm standing in front of that man and the man is telling me how burdened he is and how, how, how weak he feels just from existing and how heavy life is and how he just wants a break. And so I look at him and I tell him he is free. And he looks at me and he says, I'm not free. You don't understand. But I really need to be able to use these hands. Because I got some things I want to do. I know things can be better if I could just use my hands. And so I say, just release everything that you're holding and use your hands. What do you mean release? This one right here means my father hit me. This one right here means so many things, thousand and one things people are holding. They experience and then they allow it to take them prisoner in a sense. I was that person holding so many things, boulders. I was holding boulders from my childhood. Many years, many, many years.
I had successfully made a lot of steps. And even through all of those steps, I was standing there holding these boulders, wanting to be free. Wanting to be free, wanting to be unburdened. I had to give myself permission to put it all down and to look at my hands finally and give them rest from carrying all of the perceived burdens that I had. What are you carrying? What are you holding on to? How can you realize your freedom? How can you realize that You have the power to take the shackles off of your feet so that you can dance. That's a, that's a, um, there's a Christian song. Take the shackles off my feet so I can dance. I just want to praise you. You know what? God has given you the grace to remove all shackles. Why? Because there are no shackles. You've perceived shackles to be there. And when you wake up from that, view of perception. And simply for this exercise, just can you drop it all? How long can you allow your hands to be free if you drop it all? All that vexes. So again, how do you help a man understand that he's free? Be graceful. Be merciful. Be a blessing to yourself by putting it all down and recognizing that you are the author of it and that you never have to pick it up again. Thank you for taking the time to listen. I have sincere gratitude towards all. And I, um, it would be very pleasing if you've ever found your way back to my content again. I wish you many blessings. Namaste.